uh, the title's been the same since the beginning, Cowboys and Aliens. Uh, my interest uh, in it was the cowboy, to be frank, was the cowboy part of the, of the story. And uh, happily, that's the, that's the prevailing component. It is cowboys and aliens. In other words, when the aliens come along and stuff happens, it goes back wisely, I think, goes back to being a, a cowboy movie. And uh, because that's what makes it fresh. What's interesting is that these people back in uh, 1875 in, uh, in the Old West didn't have our experience of space travel and planetary uh, understanding. When this happened, they had no context in which to understand what was happening. The only possible context is, is the context that was given to them by the, by the preacher in town. Um, uh, these were possibly demons and remain demons throughout the telling of the story. It makes perfect sense because it's, uh, here's an opportunity to take advantage of, of this, uh, of, the, of the humanity of, of the Western, the elemental nature of the Western and its uh, attachment, its, its, its importance to, uh, to American culture. And then to, to fold into it a, a sense of uh, contemporary interests and, and, and the opportunity to bring modern kind of filmmaking devices to the, to the Western. No, I hadn't met uh, Daniel before. I certainly knew his work, and I was uh, very impressed uh, by it. Um, both his role, his work uh, as, uh, as a leading man, but also other character things that he's done, which are uh, like really uh, uh, very impressive. So I, I was delighted to have the opportunity to work with him. And he turned out to be a very generous uh, um, person to work with, um, wonderfully capable, quite serious about it all and yet a lot of fun to hang with. John is first and foremost, I mean, his, his way into the movie business is as, a, as an actor. And I think as an actor, he was uh, very sensitive and specific. So he has a sense of story, I think, that, uh, that serves him very well. And he understands how each element is really a building block for the story overall. The opportunity to play these, uh, to play a character like Woodrow Dollarhide, who who makes no apologies for his frailties, is uh, kind of a delight for me at this point in my career. And this is a character I thought that was well uh, articulated and had the opportunity for becoming even more interesting uh, as we went through the process. And these were people, I thought, uh, who uh, were ambitious uh, to make that character even more, more uh, interesting than it, it first appeared on paper to me. So my real hook was the character and the opportunity to play something, a, a character somewhat different to what I've done in the past.